This is the squadron that my grandpa fought with in World War II. It's Master Sergeant Herbert O. Bahalke, Matt Armament Chief, the 382nd Fighter Squadron, 363rd Fighter Group with the 9th Air Force. This is a collection of the pictures that his recon squadron took on missions. He was in charge of the armament on the plane, on the fighters and a lot of times they went up with cameras to take pictures of key positions and as they took the pictures they would after they would develop them they would label them you'll see on the bottom of some of these photos there's uh, labeled on what you're actually seeing the group of men that my grandpa fought with I won't talk too much I'll let you enjoy looking at the photos these have been in the family albums for many years I figured there may be some buddy some guys out there that or some families out there that know somebody in that was in my grandpa's squadron and maybe they'll get a glimpse of them in one of these photos the air recon uh, pictures of buildings and and stuff in areas that they were in the, the German town hall Some old vehicles. They moved to to scrapyards. They got shot up. This is one of the the scrapyards with the burnt out vehicles, old cannons, German artillery stuff that was captured. Some of the men with their with their fighters. Roosevelt Bridge, not sure exactly where that crosses into the Rhine. That one's Rhine Patton. Uh, Grandpa's squadron ran recon for General Patton's tanks. Some German refugees trying to escape the fighting. Burnt out vill um, cities. And Nuremberg. The eagle, the U.S. soldiers blew that eagle up with dynamite in the stadium where Hitler did a lot of his speeches and had parades and things. One of Grandpa's photographers was in the right place and got a picture of Winston Churchill. Some of the uh, British fighters that we're at. That one almost looks like a Messerschmitt. British bomber. Troop transport. That's Mussolini after they revolted and killed him. A German uh, Nazi soldier. A lot of burnt out buildings from bombing. The 
This is the Birch's Garden. Hitler's Lair. That's uh, General Patton. One of the soldier uh, airmen putting arming his own plane. A lot of German and American tanks that are were shot up and burnt out, and then placed in these yards. Old Sherman did the, the man in the front is my grandpa, Herbert Palkey. That's my grandpa, Master Sergeant Palkey, riding home. Some Shermans burnt out. I'm pretty sure that's the dark room where they developed. Yeah, this is the photographers developing the film. A B-17. They landed at their airfield. General Patton and Major, I can't see who the other one, another one of the graveyards. Some of the pictures, there might be duplicates because there was the photo that, the original and then the photo that they put the, the label on, the German troop transport, loading off, it looks like a fuel tank. Mussolini and his mistress after they had captured him. Men marching. It's Mussolini again. One of the beaches. You can see all the ships in the distance. After they took the beach, one of these, one of the beaches, they had set up an area for the men to swim. I think, yes, here, they had set up this area where they, they could, uh, the men could swim after they had secured the beach. And these are some of the men that Grandpa fought with. It's a nurse uh, washing her hair in her helmet. It'd be cool if somebody would watch this and recognize some of these men, let us know who they are. B flight. Sea flight. D flight. All the bombs are, I'm pretty sure it's targets that they had taken out. This, that pilot had fought with the Japanese and the Germans because he had Japanese flags and Nazi flags on his plane. Reconnaissance mission. Okay, take it. That's the dark room where they developed the film. A V1 bomb ramp. I can remember sitting and talking with Grandpa, looking through this album. A couple of the other uh, photographers developing film.
that was a makeshift bar they had set up. Pretty sure we saw a B flight already. But might be a couple duplicates in here. I think that's a first sergeant. If I'm reading the stripes right. Grandpa was a master sergeant. And he had the three stripes on top, three stripes on the bottom. That man had a three stripes and three stripes and then a, a symbol in the middle. Some more graveyard. Looks like a lot of Shermans in that. That's the armor graveyard with the label on the bottom. Fuel trucks. Fueling up the fighters. It's a burnt out the 10 inch gun and the probably aiming over the beaches. Thanks to these men, we are living free today. They helped to defeat the Nazis. That's my grandpa, John. He had sent a Christmas card home with him in one of the Jeeps. I'm not sure if this, who that is. I know they filmed a, they had filmed a movie at one of the airfields Grandpa was trained at, but not overseas where these were filmed. Thank you for watching.